Look at this. It has popped off at three-quarter time on Thursday Night Football. Two old rivals. And this, this is just what you expect. Carlton and Richmond, two very old Victorian clubs, rivals at the MCG in front of a, a really, really good, or decent crowd. I'm not exactly sure what the crowd is, but there we go. It is Richmond by 14 at three-quarter time. That dominate for the whole game, but Carlton have really just clawed their way back and stayed in the whole game. Um, we're live right now, obviously, and uh, we've got a massive ending to this game, potentially. Carlton have gone on an absolute rampage. Mackay's kicked three or four quick ones. 10 minutes to go, Blues by 9, or Blues down by 9, O'Brien for his second. Lockie O'Brien, Lockie O'Brien, he's tried to set it up, he's punched it in for some reason, goal for Carlton, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> what a goal, the margin is 3 points, this is ridiculous, oh my days. Why did he punch it in? Why did he punch it in? Why did he punch it in? Oh my god! It might be touched. It is touched. Oh, touched. It's touched. It's touched. Oh, let me just quickly go give some shit to Will on it. Oh, I have to quickly give some shit to Will on it. There we go. It's touched. That is abnormal. Now, I almost streamed this game. I had the stream scheduled. There was about half an hour until the stream was scheduled to start. And then I went cancel mode. I thought I'd rather just not stream. I streamed last night. I'd rather just not stream, sit back, go out for some dinner, enjoy my night, and not have to worry about, which probably won't be a very close game of footy. And I'm right. It's not a very uh, close game of footy, but it's on the other end. It is Essendon killing St Kilda by 28 points. This is abnormal, and it's huge for the Dockers. The Saints have really gotten themselves back in this one. They kicked a few straight, about four straight. Looks really good. I said Nerf just kicked one back. Ross into the 50. Anything for St Kilda. Max King down to ground. And will it go out? It stays in. Oh, from 50. Wide open as memory. And no, wait. High. That'll be a free kick for St Kilda. Another update, the Saints kick five in a row, and the Bombers have kicked another five. Sam Draper, oh my god, this is ridiculous. And he's got a, um, not a Drake shirt, but a Drape shirt. Sam Draper. This is very much so being a game played on momentum, and St Kilda had the swing right now to bring it within three goals. Gresham, he's nailed it. Oh my, we could have a thriller on our hands. I'm still a little bit pissed off I didn't stream the game now. Oh my god. And now if Nick Morgan kicks this, he'll put the game to bed to make it 25 points. Huge for Fremantle. Huge for the competition. It doesn't really matter he's missed, so 20 points. Very, very hard with five minutes to go. There we go. The Bobbers get it done by 35 points. And Flag Mantle takes another twist. Up the Bobbers. The Saints are in the mud. Their top four chances are looking very slim, which, as I just said... Is great for Frio, especially great for teams like the Cats and the Blues. All right, Saturday morning footy here at the Adelaide Oval. And as I walk into the room, Port Adelaide have a goal. Sydney have been dominating on all areas so far, really. Port haven't had any chance in for a goal, but I believe it's Connor Rosie who kicks the powers first. They've really got to get moving because Sydney are definitely looking like the superior side so far. Well, it's full time at the Adelaide Oval, and I've got to say, Sydney were absolutely abysmal. Couldn't get it in there. I mean, when they did get it in the fourth half, Port defence was so good. Um, they absolutely killed the Swans by only 23 points in the end, but it felt like a lot more. Really disappointing for the Swans, which puts their finals, um, their lock for a finals place in jeopardy. Wow. Well, this by far has been the best West Coast display all season. It is a tight game with two minutes to go at Optus Stadium. How about this? As much as I absolutely despise West Coast, I want them to win due to Fremantle being in the top four and Chalong contending us very hard, uh, very toughly. Bloody hell, could West Coast pull off the upset of the season? Kennedy down. Cripps over. Shuey Gaff puts a wide. The West Coast have the lead at Optus. Waterman goes on the inside. Darling. Not given. 
It should have got bigger, Mark. I'm not sure why the fans are booing. It was touched by the Geelong player. Geelong O'Connor just grabbed West Coast by the throat in this third quarter. They currently lead by three goals. They are the favourites from here. And Cameron will go back to make it a four-goal margin after the siren from 59 out. This would be a real roost. Jeremy Cameron. And it's way off. And it's on the full... And it will be the Cats by three goals at three-quarter time at Opsis. Stengel just kicked it behind to make the margin within two goals one for 13 points. Eagles have been fogging really hard. There's only been one goal this quarter. And they're very much so in it with just under five minutes to go. But if they're going to keep making um, immature mistakes like that, I'm not sure what their chances are. Dom Sheed, the experienced one, goes wide. And awful kick straight to Sam Menegola. Menegola plays on in the paddock. And Hawkins. And he's dug his calf. Has he dug his calf? What the hell? Oh, it's cramp. Okay. Tom Hawkins to seal the game from 39 megas out. It'd be very shocking if he misses this. And he won't miss it. And it will be the Cats by 19. 3.45 to go. It'll be hard now for the Eagles. There we go. The Cats get their job done. By three goals in the end and put themselves back in the top four, knocking Carlton back out. Chris Scott gets the job done. It might have not been pretty against an improved West Coast outfit, but four points is the four points, and that's why Geelong is such a good side. Those get the win no matter what. And now one of the great modern day rivalries is underway between the Giants and the Dogs. Cody Waitman has the first inside the first five minutes. To say this first quarter has been high scoring would be an understatement. A mega 48 to go, and it's 37 to 27 in favour of the Dogs. Bloody hell, this is high scoring, isn't it? Bragg and Bruce. The Bulldogs have been the only team to activate their mega sub so far in the first term. Could we have two mega subs activated in the first term? Bragg and Bruce, not sure if it's a, um, a more serious injury or just a corky, but we'll have to have a look. A minute 53 going in the second. It's the Dogs by 10 and still a high-scoring shootout. And Cody Waitman has five first-half goals on track for 10. This is wild. And after a high-scoring game of footy in Sydney, the Bulldogs get the Chockeys in the end by 20 points. 16, 9, 105 to 19, 11, 125. Easily the highest-scoring game of football so far in 2022. And now there's only one more game to go in this round. That is on tomorrow, on the Sunday, against the Gold Coast Suns and the Adelaide Crows. I haven't watched a single second of this game because I've been all day, and to be honest, it doesn't look like an amazing game for you. It's the Suns by 20 as Rankin takes the mark, goes to the goal square, and it's a goal for the Suns. They're up by 26 now, and uh, yeah, they should get it done quite easily. Inaccurate Crows outfit, six goals, 11. And uh, yeah, the Suns continue to make a push for finals footy. And there we go, the Suns get a massive win of Metric on. Their finals hopes are well and truly alive. I'd actually like to have a look at the live lager because their percentage could potentially send them into the top eight. There is a chance. There is a chance. Live lager. Here we go. Oh, obviously they're actually a game off. But the percentage, only 7% behind the Western Bulldogs. And one game behind sixth, which is Richmond, followed by Sydney, St Kilda, and Collingwood. So, Gold Coast are a huge chance at finals. Freo had the bye this week, so I'm happy we'll be back playing a tough matchup in Carlton um, at Marvel Stadium. That'll be a very nerve-wracking contest. That's a massive danger game for us coming off the bye. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that wraps up a pretty good round of footy. I hope you did enjoy this vlog. Uh, the camera's a little bit blurry. Yeah, I hope you did enjoy this vlog. Um, if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.